Separated by 21 miles along scenic Route 13 in upstate New York, Ithaca College and SUNY Cortland are the football powerhouses of the Finger Lakes region. The Bombers of Ithaca and the Red Dragons of Cortland have been playing the game of football for nearly a century, meeting in almost every season since 1930. Amid snow flurries, the red and white met the blue and gold on a chilly October Saturday in 1930. Cortland shut out Ithaca, winning the game 12 to zero. Ithaca would win two of the next four, but starting in 1935, the teams did not play each other for unknown reasons until the programs were halted in 1945 during World War II. The teams picked back up in 1948, and over the next 11 years, Cortland would take eight of those games, moving the record to nine, four, and three in their favor. In 1959, the stakes would change forever. In 1959, with the rivalry already red hot, the matchup would reach a whole new level. While driving through nearby Homer, Cortland captain Tom Decker stopped at a yard sale and purchased a jug from a local farmer, intending to use it as a trophy during the annual game. Along with then Ithaca captain Dick Carmine, the two painted the jug the colors of the two schools, red, white, blue, and gold. And thus, Cortica was born. The original jug ran out of room for scores in the mid 80s, and a new second jug is used today. The first Cortica jug was awarded to Cortland in 1959 when they defeated Ithaca by a score of 13 to seven at South Hill Field. It wouldn't be until 1963 when the Red Dragons would hold the jug again, with Ithaca winning the next four matchups. The next seven years saw Cortland dominate, with the Red Dragons taking five of seven from the Bombers in the late 60s and early 70s. Cortland's three-game win streak from 1966 to 1968 still stands as the school's longest in jug history. The 1972 Ithaca squad, which lost 21 to 16, was captained by future Ithaca head coach Mike Welsh. It would mark the last Cortica loss for the Bombers for 10 years. The next 18 years saw only two losses for the Bombers, as Ithaca dominated during the heart of Jim Butterfield's reign as head coach. One of Cortland's two wins came in 1988, but the Bombers would have the last laugh as the two teams faced off later that year in their only playoff matchup to date, which the Bombers won on the way to their second of three national titles. The tables finally started to turn in 1992, with the teams splitting the next 18 matchups nearly down the middle with Ithaca winning 10, including three in a row from 2007 to 2009. The 09 game, which saw Ithaca win by just a field goal, would be the last Bombers Cortica win to date. Since 2010, Cortland has taken over, winning three straight, which is tied for their longest streak of the Jugs history. Ithaca was a play away from stopping that in 2012, needing just one yard to seal the comeback with time winding down. As Arduin takes the snap, he gets hit at the two-yard line. He tries to push forward, and he gets stopped short. Play Arduin gets stopped at the two. The all-time record between the two schools has Ithaca winning 39-29 to with three ties. As for the jug itself, Ithaca has lifted it 34 times, Cortland only 20. This year, Cortland will try to complete the four-game sweep of Ithaca's class of 2013, making this year's Ithaca seniors the first class to graduate without ever holding the jug. While we can look back on the history, it won't be those dominant Cortland teams of the 50s on the gridiron, and Ithaca won't have Jim Butterfield on the sideline. It will be today's players playing their game, leaving their legacy.